Hi guys, welcome to another Dermy Doc Box unboxing. It is officially 2022. I'm super excited to welcome you guys to our first unboxing of the year. It has been pretty exciting to step into 2022 with some new goals for our box. And one of those is just creating more content for you guys to be able to take the most out of your box experience. So as you guys know, many of you are not new to this process, but we are going to be unboxing the entire winter 2022 box today. I'm going to walk you through all of the products, why I love them, what I think makes them unique. And then of course, if you have questions, please add them to the question box so that I can answer them for you. This is probably my favorite part about the box experience. I love interacting with you guys, hearing your feedback and just helping me make the box a better experience for you. So without further ado, let's dive in. This is our winter box for 2022. I'm very excited about it because there are a lot of products in here that we haven't necessarily had before, but also some stuff that's definitely going to help you guys get through the winter season. Um, whether you're in super cold weather or just a little bit chillier, I definitely think that there is a role for switching out some products in your routine just to make your skincare experience a little better throughout the season. So we're gonna dive right in and I will kind of walk you through all those products. Again, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the chat box and then I will try to get to them as we go. So as you know, with all of your Dermy Doc Boxes, you always get a really awesome and detailed pamphlet that walks you through all of the products. This pamphlet looks a little different from before. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. We included some of our subscribers down here who have sent us photos with their favorite products. I really love seeing you guys using your products or hearing about what products you love. So I always love a selfie to our inbox with products that you love and we love reposting you on our social media. So please continue to do that. I have a little message in here for you guys. And then on the inside and back side of the pamphlet, you can see it's pretty chock full of information that I've written out. Um, this is probably the spot that takes the most time when we're doing the boxes and curating everything because I just wanna make sure I give as much information as possible because I definitely think starting a new product, you're always like, okay, where is this going to go in my routine? What benefit does it add to my routine? What ingredients am I using on my skin? What do I need to be looking out for? So I really enjoy putting this together. And then of course, getting you guys the exclusive discount codes from retailers so that you can go back to their website and shop more of the products. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what should we start with first? I see some questions and stuff already popping in here. Um, how much is the subscription? So our subscription is $49.99, that's every three months. That comes with free shipping so that you're only billed $49.99 every three months and you get always over $100 worth of product. So our winter box actually has over $130 worth of product and then you get the product pamphlet in here, which walks you through everything, discount codes, and then you also get the Science of Skincare insert. This is taking the product pamphlet one step further, basically diving into some sort of skincare topic that I really wanna teach you about. In this one, specifically for the box, it was about hypochlorous acid, which lots of people have never heard of. There is a product in the box today that has hypochlorous acid, so I just wanted to do a deep dive on that and kind of teach you all about it. All right, why don't we actually start with that product? Um, so your Science of Skincare card had the hypochlorous acid information on it. Hypochlorous acid is basically a natural anti-inflammatory ingredient that our own body produces, our white blood cells produce it. So it's actually completely non-toxic to humans, but it works to fight viruses, bacteria, fungi, inflammation. So in dermatology, sometimes we use hypochlorous acid for things like prepping the skin prior to a procedure, like before I do filler or Botox or um, skin surgery, you can use hypochlorous acid to remove some of the bacteria that may be on the skin to prevent infection. Well, Tower 28 Beauty put their SOS spray in our box. This SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray is awesome. Um, you guys may have seen it on my Instagram before. I usually, um, when I had shown it before, it was with their old packaging. So this is new um, recyclable packaging. Um, and I think that's all that's changed about it. It does now have the National Eczema Association seal, which you guys know I've taught you about this before. If you have sensitive skin, look for this seal of approval on products when you're trying to shop. The National Eczema Association has a pretty rigorous 
um, panel that goes through products and decides, are these suitable for eczema prone skin? So you can tell in the winter box, we did have a few of those products in there um, because I wanted to make sure that we were kind of helping everybody skin out, especially the most sensitive. Okay, what do you do with this stuff? I use this stuff during the work week because I'm wearing a mask all day long when I'm seeing my patients. And as you guys know, we're well into this pandemic right now, but mask me is definitely a thing. People get a lot of irritation, small red bumps, itchiness, um, more breakouts, especially around the mouth area when they're wearing their masks for extended periods of time. So hypochlorous acid is kind of like a natural disinfectant to the skin so that it should help with reducing mask knee or any sort of inflammation. So if you feel particularly like burning or irritated in the morning, let's say you did your skincare routine the night before, you used a lot of acids or you may be over exfoliated or your skin is feeling super dry because of the weather, this can be a great product just to kind of calm everything down. So you literally just open it, spritz it on your face after you cleanse your skin, and then you apply your skincare products. You can actually apply this throughout the day too. So some people have told me they've like thrown it into their work bags. I had a nurse reach out to me and tell me it's really helped her during her shift when her skin gets super irritated mid shift. Um, so lots and lots of uses for it. Let me know if you guys have tried it and what your thoughts are on it, but I think this is a pretty amazing product. And again, the, um, the uh, insert here kind of tells you a little bit more about it and what the benefits are for your skin. Somebody's saying kind of like thermal water. Yes and no. So thermal water um, can definitely be anti-inflammatory. This has this active ingredient of hypochlorous acid specifically in it. It kind of gives off a little bit of like a chlorine type smell. So hypochlorous acid is hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine um, combined into one. So it does have like a little pool smell to it, um, but it's very cleansing on the skin. Whereas thermal water doesn't have that, um, that's naturally derived usually from spring water in certain areas of the world. Um, let me know if you guys have questions on this. Love, love, love this product. Um, and then in your box, or sorry, in your pamphlet, you can see um, here there is a coupon code if you wanted to buy more or um, if you wanted to check out their other products. Pretty awesome brand, Tower 28. You may have seen them in Sephora. They do have this in like a smaller travel size version, which I think is nice if you want to throw it in your bag. All right, so let's move on. Why don't we go to the Inky List? Um, so we put the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum in our winter box. This is a fan favorite. Um, I told you guys that this one um, sells, uh, one of these is sold every 30 seconds, which is pretty insane. But I think hyaluronic acid is kind of misunderstood. So let's break down why I like this specific hyaluronic acid um, and the reason why I think it's a little bit more than just hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid, what is it? Again, this is also naturally derived in our body, in our skin. The deeper layers of our skin contain hyaluronic acid. This is a protein that we actually lose over time, especially as we age. What's the role of hyaluronic acid? The role of it is to literally hold onto water and plump the skin. So as we get older, you may feel like, oh, my skin just doesn't have this plumpness to it, doesn't have the firmness to it anymore, it feels dull. And that is as we continue to lose hyaluronic acid, the unfortunate part of aging. <laughs> well, adding hyaluronic acid into your routine can be very helpful, but you have to use it correctly. So hyaluronic acid is a humectant, meaning it basically absorbs water like a sponge. So that's how you can think of it. Some people say it absorbs up to a thousand times its weight in water. So when you apply it onto the skin, you want to give it something to hold on to. So the way I tell people to use this is after you cleanse your skin, you would apply this, then you put your moisturizer on top. You can also use other serums as well afterwards, but you want to seal it with a layer of moisturizer because technically if you're not applying something on top of a hyaluronic acid serum, then it may just be uh, pulling from the top layers of layers of your skin, which could effectively dry out your skin. So very important that you apply this, then you apply moisturizer on top of it so that it works well. But what makes this serum a little bit differently? It doesn't just contain hyaluronic acid. It contains something called Matrixyl 3000 peptide. This is a special peptide that is in some anti-aging products and peptides are basically collagen building blocks. 
So collagen, um, we know is a protein, again, in our skin that helps with firmness of the skin. We start to lose collagen as we get older, womp womp. I feel like I'm very depressing today, but we add it back in, in the form of peptides. Peptides are collagen building blocks. They're composed of amino acids and they help to stimulate the body to produce collagen. So some people will say that using this type of serum, especially hyaluronic acid plus a peptide, helps to not only hydrate the skin, but also increase collagen production and effectively help with anti-aging. So it can be a really nice both hydrating and anti-aging ingredient. That's the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. Let me know if you guys have any questions on there. I see a lot of highs um, coming through. So hi, everybody. Thank you for joining. Can we still buy the winter box? Yes, as long as our box is in stock, we continue to sell it on the website. Um, so most of our boxes are currently sold out. I think we have two others in stock right now, some older boxes, uh, but the winter box is still available as long as supply is lasting. I think we're getting close to being sold out soon. Okay, so moving on from the inky list. Um, oh, does hyaluronic acid have to be applied on wet, damp skin? I've heard this, but wasn't sure if it's true. It is helpful to apply it on damp skin. I think that is something that can be um, exaggerated a little, like people are soaking wet and then they're applying hyaluronic acid. No, it's gonna fall off your face, just slightly damp. So you don't have to vigorously rub your skin dry after you've cleansed it and then apply your hyaluronic acid. So you do want it to be slightly damp. Um, do other serums still remain effective if you seal the hyaluronic acid with moisturizer? So if you're using more than one serum, put them on all, then put your moisturizer on. So um, on our page, you guys can actually check out that we actually have some helpful AM and PM skincare routine steps. In general, when you're thinking about your skincare routine and when you wanna use products, you always wanna use the lighter weight products before something heavier. So in general, serums are gonna go on before your moisturizer. There is a caveat to that and we are about to discuss it right now. That is facial oils. So I've been dying to put a facial oil in, but I really wanted to be particular about what facial oil I give you guys because I've seen some crazy stuff with facial oils and I wanted to make sure it had a lot of ingredients in it, not just one type of facial oil, because there's benefits from multiple. This is from Pure Am. How beautiful is this coral color? I'm like obsessed with it. So this is the Pure Am um, Super Glow Dew. This is a facial oil, and if you've never used facial oils before, they can be really helpful in your skincare routine. This one in particular has a lot of different oils in it, actually. So first thing is the pink color is from the Gromwell Root. It's actually a natural herbal medicine, a Korean herbal medicine. If you look up the plant um, for Gromwell Root, it's like a purpley coral color. So that's where this is derived from, the color of it. It's nothing artificial, um, but it contains a vegan squalene. So vegan Vegan squalene, you have to be careful with the wording. Squalane versus squalene. So A-N-E versus E-N-E. Squalane is something that is a hydrogenated form of naturally producing oils in our body. What does that mean? When you look at our sebum or our oil that our skin produces, it contains squalene. So squalene is a hydrating part of our sebum or oil. Well, unfortunately, here's another truth. As we get older, squalene in our oil starts to decrease. So we don't get that natural moisturizing effect of our oil over time. So we can start to notice as we age, we tend to be on the drier side. Well, enter products that contain squalene, which is a stable hydrogenated form of the naturally occurring squalene to add that moisture back in. I really hope I'm explaining these things well. Sometimes I feel like I have to just like slow down and explain things a little slower. So squalane is in this product. It also contains a number of other hydrating facial oils like jojoba oil, cold pressed sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil. This stuff is magical. And what are gonna be the benefits of your skin? You're gonna notice, notice deep hydration. You're gonna notice a brightening and glowing effect. And it's going to really help to be, it's kind of like a sealant in your skincare routine. So remember how I just told you that in general, we tell people when you're applying your skincare products, you wanna apply thinnest to thickest. So serum first and then your moisturizer. Technically, although this is a liquidy serum, 
Facial oils is the area where that breaks the rule. So facial oils, you want to use them as the last step. Let me explain a little more. Nighttime, you've done your routine, you've put on your moisturizer. That is when this part comes in. You put your oil on last. So how do I use this? I don't apply it on my hands and like smear it all over my face. You wanna gently tap it into your skin so that it's not also smearing around your moisturizer and causing it to like pill or cake up. So you literally put it into your hands, kind of just like put it on your hands like this, warm it up and then press it into your skin. So just gently press it onto your skin and that's your last step and you go to sleep. If you wanna use a facial oil in the morning, you still have to apply sunscreen on top. And I think this is where people mess up because they're confused about what step to add this into. Personally, for me, I prefer facial oil only at night and then I'm not really ruining my sunscreen step or messing it up or feeling like my sunscreen isn't applying well. So my preference is to use facial oils only at night. But if you wanna use it in the morning, you can. You'd put on your moisturizer and put this on, but you'd still technically have to add sunscreen on top of it. So just be mindful of that. Um, it's my personal preference, again, to just use them in the evening because of that step. Any questions about this awesome stuff from Purium? They also have some really nice hydrating moisturizers, a couple of cool products, and they did include a discount code in your, um, where is it? In your pamphlet if you want more um, awesome stuff. Let me make sure I'm not missing any questions here. Best oil hands down, I was so impressed. Yay, I love to hear that. Um, let's move on to some other products. Why don't we do the Glad Skin Eczema Cream? So this was the um, sample product in our box. If we ever put a sample in, I always try to make sure it is a large sample so you can actually try it out and decide if you want to do a full size. I don't really like to do dinky samples. I'm pretty particular about that and I know that the one of the important things to me about this box is that I give you guys large amounts of products so that you can really use them up and decide if they're for you. Um, this specific sample, pretty incredible technology. Um, I did a story on my Instagram page about this because I actually use this guy on my wrists. That's where I tend to get my eczema a lot. For me, mostly it's woo. For me, mostly it's from hand washing, um, just from like being in clinic and my hands getting irritated all the time. But this stuff is really cool. Let me explain how you use it. So Glad Skin, if you look at their website, they're actually doing a number of really cool things. One is for eczema. But in general, this product, it contains some hydrating stuff, which you might may, maybe used to when you're thinking about eczema type products like colloidal oatmeal sounds familiar to you, glycerin, mineral oil, all these things that can be very hydrating to the skin. But on top of that, you also have something called microbalance technology. So this is a patented technology for glad skin. And what it does is it contains a protein called endolysin. Endolysin cleaves or cuts up or destroys bad bacteria. Ooh, we just paused for a second, sorry about that. You may remember from your winter box last year that we had an, uh, a science of skincare insert about the microbiome and I was explaining to you guys that our skin contains thousands of living, breathing bacteria. So we have good bacteria and bad bacteria. Well, science is helping us understand now that people with eczema have an imbalance of the good and the bad bacteria. And maybe that's why their skin is always flaring or irritated. There seems to be some sort of connection with what bacteria on our skin is doing to promote either smooth, healthy skin or irritated red skin prone to eczema breakouts. So Glad Skin uses endolysin, which cleaves or breaks up the bad bacteria. So that effectively helps to restore that balance and bring calmness to the skin. Now, this does not ever replace seeing a dermatologist. And you guys know, I, as much as I love to bring you guys products, I never want you to think that if you have a serious skin condition that you should always be treating without the guidance of a dermatologist. But I do think that this moisturizer has pretty incredible technology and I guarantee that we are going to see more companies 
trying to take advantage of this technology within the coming years because everything in our skincare is starting to become more and more about how are we disturbing or disrupting the good and bad bacteria on our skin on a daily basis. These are things that we'll never be able to completely remove. Our microbiome is a living, breathing part of our skin. So how do we control it better? And I think Gladskin's doing a pretty good uh, job at that. I did see a question in here about if you can use it on a child. Yes, this stuff is okay to use on three months and up. Um, so there was actually a study, I think it was in the Journal of Drugs and Dermatology, I wanna say JDD, um, that looked at using Glad Skin on both pediatric and adult skin, and it did show that it reduced the time of their flare or the intensity of the flare. Again, doesn't replace seeing a dermatologist and you're potentially having your prescription products, but I do think it's a really amazing product to incorporate into your routine if you have dry or sensitive skin. If you don't necessarily have eczema per se, you just have dry patches of skin, you may also find this very helpful, again, at restoring the good and bad bacteria. This is the full size I wanted to show you guys. So this is 100 mLs, this one's 15 mLs. They both are in an airtight pump, so it helps them stay preservative free. So if you'll notice, there is an expiration date on your product because there's no preservatives in this formula. Preservatives are not necessarily a bad thing in skincare, don't get me wrong, but in some situations, especially people with skin sensitivities, they may find that having a preservative-free formula helps to reduce irritation when you apply the product. So this is the full size, this is the mini um, that was in the box, and then you do have a coupon code if you did want to get um, a larger size. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the Gentle Cream Cleanser from Beauty RX. So Beauty RX is a dermatologist formulated skincare brand by Dr. Schultz. Their website is pretty impressive. They have lots of beautiful products, especially lots of exfoliating acid-based products. Um, Dr. Schultz is pretty impressive, but I loved this cleanser. And I think a lot of you guys did too. I saw some comments earlier about that, um, but let me know your thoughts. In general, I think it's very important to know that in the winter time, one of the biggest, easiest changes you can make to preserving your skin barrier, preventing irritation of your skin, is to switch out your cleanser from something that foams, something that gets really soapy, to something that's more creamy. So using a creamy-based cl cleanser like this one, this one's really hydrating, it has lavender and chamomile extract, it also has glycerin, so very soft, soothing ingredients can be really helpful when you're cleansing your skin to not over dry. Many people in the winter time are still using their same soapy types of cleansers and it tends to just overstrip your skin barrier and you get this like tight, cracked feeling. That is not a good thing. You don't want your skin to feel really tight and almost squeaky clean after you clean. You've probably done too much at that point. So this kind of helps to avoid that. Um, I see some hearts coming through. So I'm glad you guys like this one. I think this is a pretty awesome product. Also, it's a really nice big size. So this is gonna last you the whole season, hopefully. Um, any questions on this guy? Let me know. I'm not seeing anything here. But this is the um, Beauty RX Gentle Cream Cleanser, normal to dry skin. It can dissolve oil. I find that around my eyes, I still need maybe like a micellar water over my eyes on a cotton pad to really get my eye makeup off. Um, but it can be really gentle for dissolving even like oil, makeup, sunscreen. Um, really, really love this product. All right, last but not least, you guys, don't ever dog on drugstore skincare. Let me tell you, I posted a little rant on my page a few days ago because I am sick and tired of hearing people on Instagram complaining about drugstore skincare not being good. Uh-uh. No, we're not having that stuff. We are more educated than that. We can understand that you can absolutely have beautiful, effective drugstore skincare, and you can also have nice, high medical-grade skincare. Just because something is expensive doesn't mean it's amazing, and just because something is cheap doesn't mean it sucks. I always strive to give you over $100 worth of value in your box, but please trust and believe that the value, meaning the dollar amount of the box, is not what makes the box good. It truly is the products we put in there, and I just want you to feel like you got your money's worth, but this freaking $5.99 
stick is going to be your best friend. Let me tell you, I love this guy. He's everywhere. He's all over my house. He's amazing. Why? Because it's so genius. It's literally Vaseline in a stick form and it's a little firmer than like the jelly Vaseline and you can take this anywhere. This is TSA friendly. You can take it when you travel. This is perfect to stick into your purse. You're not going to get it all over the place. You don't have to dip your hands into it. It's literally a stick of Vaseline. Like how genius is that? Where do I use this? I actually really like this around my lips, around my eyes, and then I also will have it in my bag for like dry patches. I told you guys I get like cracks or dry patches on my wrists a lot. Um, so that's where I like to use this. Some people use this for chafing. So if you get irritation between your thighs, under your arms, under, under the breast area, after working out, this can be very helpful and soothing. Some people use it around their kids' mouths. Like when your kids eat, Whole nother story but your kids eat and they just throw a bunch of stuff all over their face not very helpful so using this um, around the mouth area can be really helpful for soothing irritation um, basically you can use this stuff anywhere it's multi-use it's pretty incredible and it's literally at the drugstore and i love it so much so in our box you will always find high and low end products because i think it's super important to be able to have a little bit of both um, what is the sequence in which you are using the Vaseline stick? So if I'm using it on my lips or eyes, I just use it at nighttime as my last step, like over my lips or over my eye area, but you can use it um, on top of any dry or irritated skin. It doesn't necessarily need to be a part of your routine, but if you do have multiple steps, I'd probably put it towards the end because it's more of an occlusive agent, so it's going to kind of seal stuff. You know when people talk about slugging being a very popular thing, Usually that's when you're using a thick emollient as a last step in your routine. Personally, I'm not like always slugging my face, but definitely around my lips, um, like on the skin of my lips and even around my eyes, especially when I use my retinoids at night and I tend to get irritation or dryness in these areas, I usually want some sort of emollient based product. But yeah, this stuff is pretty incredible. Okay, that was the winter box. I wanted to show you guys a few more things. Um, hello, do you guys love this organizer? Like, I just want you guys to know we literally went through oh, one, two, three, four, five organizers before we picked this one. I was just being a little annoying about it, but I wanted it to be clear so you could see all your stuff because like how aesthetically pleasing is it to see your skincare and not have to dig through a drawer? I think that's so important. Um, I wanted it to fit a lot of stuff, but I didn't want it to be huge because I know some of you guys especially have a small amount of counter space. So you just like need it to fit into a corner and have all your stuff there. And I wanted it to be something you could personalize because not everybody is going to want the same type of storage. So you can literally move these shelves. I didn't put the rubber bands on them so I could show you. But you can literally move these shelves up and down based on the height that you want your skincare to be. And then there's these little bands that come in it where you can secure those in. Um, and then there's like this cute thing on top for like your Q-tips and cotton balls. And I don't know, I'm just kind of obsessed with this guy. And I love seeing you guys' pictures of your skincare products on it. It just makes me so excited whether you're using Dermidoc box products or not. I just think organizing your skincare so that you can actually see it and use things makes it a little easier. All right, let me see any comments in here. When I switched to Vaseline on my lips at night instead of chapstick, it changed my life. Girl, not going to dog on any brands, but there are certain lip brands that contain irritating ingredients. And they actually do this to you guys on purpose because they make you addicted to the product so that you think you need more of it, but you're actually just over drying your lips. So I definitely prefer just plain emollients on the lips as a moisturizer, especially at nighttime. My husband literally does this too. Um, okay, what is the sequence? We answered that one. Love this organizer. The top is so helpful for smaller products not falling over. I know, I love the top. We had a few other tops that we were looking at that were just kind of open, but I feel like this having all these little compartments makes it easier, especially if you have like a small serum or something that you wanna add in. Is this live going to be recorded and posted anywhere for future viewing? Yes, we always post the lives to the Dermy Doc Box page, and then we also download it and repost it to YouTube. So we do have a YouTube channel. You 
you can go back and watch any of the unboxings for all of the products and I've walked through all of them there. Um, and then we also have the shorter clips that just shows you what's in each box. Um, and then one thing I did want to add is that for 2022, we've expanded our team. We actually have over 10 team members now in Dermy Doc Box, which is really cool because you guys know it was just me and my husband starting out and we were literally doing everything in the beginning. So it, I can't tell you how nice it is to have experts working with us um, that are helping us with things like design, website, um, helping in our warehouse and management, helping with curation and getting me organized with all the products because I kind of have a, a full-time job already and this was starting to be a little too much. So I really wanted to be able to focus my energy for this box on picking the products itself. And now I have a team of people that are helping me bring you guys these products, which I'm very, very thankful for. Um, I see a question here. How often should we switch up our face washes? You don't have to necessarily switch up your face washes often. I just think in the colder months, especially if you are somebody who tends to get more irritated or dry, you should switch to a non-foaming cleanser. That's often a very big um, change that I make in anybody with dry or sensitive skin, which most people just tend to feel a little more dry in the winter time. So that's an easy switch to make. Um, one other thing that you guys may have noticed in your box is this little insert here just telling you guys about the changes we've made. Um, the nice thing about being a small business is we can listen to feedback and make quick changes. One of the feedback question or suggestions that we got from last year was that you want to receive your box earlier in the season. So for example, our summer box last year debuted in July and I had sent you guys a bunch of sunscreen. Well, a lot of you guys mentioned, well, wouldn't it be kind of nicer to get it earlier like in June so that we can use it throughout the summer, June, July, August, and make sure we get a ton of use out of all of our products. Yes, that was genius. So as of next box, we will be switching up our billing cycle. So March, uh, mid-March will be our spring box which will make June, I have to reference this, make sure I say this right, June will be our summer box, September will be our fall box, and then December will be our winter box. And we did this just to make it more helpful for you guys to use these products earlier in the season and get your benefit of them all year long. If you have specific questions, let us know. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love hearing from you guys. I love changing things to make this box a better experience. And we always want to be open to that process. I think that's super important in any business. And you know, this is just our second year um, going now and we've grown so much because of your help. Um, so if you have any questions, um, feel free to type them below. Are there any sneak peeks you have for the spring box coming up? I can't, you guys, but it's going to be so good. And I, I do want you guys to know that because the spring box is coming a little earlier and we moved it up to March, one of my biggest points was that I made sure the products for the spring box are not going to feel like any overlap of stuff you've had recently so that you really feel like it has a purpose in your routine. One of the things I wrote in the pamphlet is I never want you to feel overwhelmed by this box. If this box overwhelms you, if the skincare is not serving you, cancel. I don't want you to feel like you are getting excess. I promise you that every single time we're putting products in, it's because I think it's going to really be helpful for you for the season. And that is why we are not a monthly subscription box because we do not want to promote excess skincare. So easy for you to skip or pause your subscription if you need to. And I totally understand the need to do that because I want you here for the long haul and I want you to be able to learn and feel really empowered about your skin decisions that you're making. Okay, let me see if there's any other questions. Thank you for the hearts. I just love you guys. And I'm really excited for 2022. So I will see you guys soon. I'm gonna save this to our page in case you're tuning in late so you can watch it. And then we'll also be hopefully posting it to YouTube. All right, take care guys.